hi guys welcome to Android Guider. so in this video we will be reviewing uh, slim rom so this rom is uh, based on android 7.1.2 nougat uh, the latest security patches are present um, and uh, this is slim 7.1.2 uh, this the uh, this is the 18th of august weekly build uh, for the redmi note 3 this is an official build and uh, the slinux status of the stock kernel is enforcing and the from under the kernel version you can make out that uh, the latest linux patches are present as well um, and also the developer options are not enabled by default so in order to enable them we will have to tap on the build number seven times um, so before we get started with the uh, with the features and uh, what all the rom has to offer i would like to mention here that uh, just like last year uh, slim rom they haven't uh, concentrated too much on features but they have uh, concentrated really uh, they have put a uh, they have put a huge emphasis on polishing the rom on uh, you know making it uh, making sure that uh, they have uh, polished all those uh, uh, nudges which remain and you know that uh, what they have concentrated on is uh, delivering the best user exp experience that they can with a minimal set of features uh, that's how i will summarize uh, uh, slim rom uh, the if you are looking for a feature rich rom then definitely this is one of those this is not uh, one of those roms which you would like to try on but uh, if you are uh, some uh, if you are uh, a believer of uh, you know i am a uh, what i personally like in roms is and what i love about slim rom as well is that uh, i look for uh, i believe in that uh, there are really very small things which go on to enrich your overall experience of using the rom and uh, trust me guys uh, slim rom has those really very small tweaks which i keep uh, mentioning about and uh, in fact uh, i had also I had also mentioned this in my Mocky ROM review that there are really very small things which go on to enrich the overall uh, experience of using the ROM and uh, you know uh, and slim ROM it's such a polished ROM out there that you will notice all those really really small things that they have worked upon and in the end you will praise the developers for uh, what they have built um, so we'll be talking about all those small things which they have worked upon and all the small features which are present in the rom which will definitely make you fall in uh, love with it and uh, uh, guys uh, this is a uh, this is based uh, real this is a really very close uh, this is closely based on uh, uh, stock uh, android we don't have main too many features over on uh, top of uh, android but uh, again they have definitely added a uh, 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 some uh, really very really useful customizations but they are not over the top like um, other roms out there so you know if you are a fan of minimalistic roms along with the uh, a polished user experience then slim rom is what you should be looking for um so first up we have got those usual wi-fi bluetooth sim card data usage settings and you know tethering and portable vpn cellular networks network traffic reset all that uh, basic settings then we have got the interface options and right away you can notice that we don't have those over the top customizations uh, they have kept things really minimal uh, we have got status bar icons so from in here you can enable or disable any icon which you want to be shown or you which you don't want to be shown in the status bar um uh, VOLT symbol that's present in as well uh, so for those redmi note 3 users out there who want to have a VOLT symbol that's present in here and if you want to show uh, seconds in uh, the clock then uh, you can enable that option from in here uh, and yeah uh, headset icon if you enable this option and then you plug in your headsets that icon will be shown in the status bar and just for a quick demonstration if you just disable the wi-fi icon it will disappear from the status bar and when we check it back in it will reappear then uh, battery status style uh, we've got a bunch of options in here this is the portrait style icon this is the landscape landscape style icon and uh, that's just uh, okay uh, before we uh, get into the um, before we check out the battery status cell uh, i will just mention a small thing here you know you can uh, uh, see that my device is currently charging and you can see that uh, charging animation in there which we, which they have um, you know that uh, the charging symbol is blinking within the battery icon and uh, now when i pull down the quick setting panel you know you can uh, see that uh, they have got a completely different animation in there uh, and once again when i uh, pull it back down you can see the similar animation in there you know um, um, so um, although i don't think that uh, many of you would uh, 
appreciate what uh, slim rom have um, done here but uh, you know i'm uh, i personally like what they have done here they've got a different charging animation for uh, uh, the status bar and uh, a different charging animation for the quick settings panel um now i don't know how many of you would like that but uh, i personally uh, loved what uh, the slim rom developers they did there uh, you know different animation i think that uh, they had this last year as well but uh, Again, this, these are, uh, you know, I'm really a big fan of minimal ROMs, but uh, the ROMs which don't go over the top, but those ROMs which uh, concentrate highly on user experience and, you know, on all these small tweaks, uh, which will in the end go on, uh, uh, which will uh, in the end lead to a great user experience. And, uh, you know, uh, you can move on to the landscape mode and the uh, the landscape if you select the landscape mode in the uh, in the uh, you know in the sorry in the status bar uh, for the status bar then we won't be having any uh, we would be having the same uh, portrait icon in the quick setting panel so just make a note of that uh, that doesn't change and then you can have circle you know and we have uh, the animation for that as well the charging st symbol still brings blinks and uh, you can see the uh, charging level that rotates around the circumference of the circle so you know and still the battery icon will remain same dotted circle you can have that and again you can you know still notice that same animation in there uh, and then if you want to have text you can do have that and when you are charging you will have that tilt symbol um and i'll just select dotted circle and then battery percentage whether you want it to show to be shown inside the icon or next to the icon and then you know you you can see what they did there it will uh the charging symbol appears and then the battery percentage so again you know i don't think that uh you know if you go to other roms out there uh, uh they would in fact uh, disable you know they will show the charging symbol outside the uh, outside the, the uh, dotted circle uh, but what slim rom have done is you know again these are really very small things which uh, i am a big fan of they've got that uh, charging symbol and then the battery icon inside the circle um and uh, as i mentioned before uh, if you check out other roms uh, most of them out there uh, they will show the battery percentage next to the icon when the uh, when the uh, device is charging but you know uh, uh, the slim rom uh, guys they have implemented that inside the icon option and they have done it pretty well I, I think maybe it was there last year as well although i'm not too sure but you know i really like what they did there uh, then uh, we have got uh, uh, that's all what we have got in the status bar settings recent apps panel we have got slim recents in here uh, you don't have any option to uh, choose for the stock recent options so it took me a while uh, to uh, get used to the slim recents although i don't use slim recents a lot myself but uh, it still uh, took me a while but uh, then in the end i uh, got used to them so um, you know uh, you can disable slim recents and uh, then uh, you can have those uh, uh, stock usb uh, style recents um sorry i i think i guess i mentioned that wrongly before that uh, you can't choose anything apart from slim recents um i apologize for that uh you can choose uh obviously um, um you know that uh, slim recent the, the slim guys they have always kept that option uh, they won't force anything upon you uh so you can enable slim recents <clears throat> and uh, uh, slim recents are enabled by default and then you can uh, you know only show running apps maximum allowed apps you can customize that expanded mode auto always <clears throat> or uh, never then um, show on the left edge by default you know when you pull out slim recents they are shown on the right edge if you want to pull them out from the left edge you can enable that option show the topmost task um, size you can customize that panel background color and the card background color so basic values in here and again um, now I'm a really very big fan of this kind of a color picker uh, uh, you know uh, I haven't honestly guys i haven't seen uh, <clears throat> any rom uh, featuring a uh, featuring a color picker <clears throat> wherein you can input rgb based values uh, most of them out there they have got this uh, uh, color palette uh, you, from which from wherein you can pick different shades those are great as well but uh, uh, in here we get that extra feature of choosing an rgb based color uh, of entering an rgb rgb based value you can also customize the slider uh, you know to go ahead and or you can use the uh, use a bunch of uh, preset color values and choose one of them so um you know i'm a really very big fan of uh, you know these uh, small uh, uh, these small 
things which uh, um, such as the color palette and you know uh, this wall at least this what at least for me uh, goes on uh, in the definition of a great rom uh, then we have got the navigation settings uh, navigation bar you can enable or disable the navigation bar then we have got the button settings so uh, you know this is one of the most uh, simple and easiest to use uh, uh, navigation bar editors out there so if you want to uh, add a navigation bar uh, button you know you simply just tap on this uh, button uh, you can set a custom app back key home key recent key menu kill app last app screen off power menu notifications quick settings panel uh, open IME switcher, screenshot camera, torch, Google now on tap and you know we've got a bunch of options in there and uh, no matter for what you choose um, you know you will um, I will just add another icon as well maybe let's say the power menu okay uh, so they uh, do have uh, some icons for uh, okay so we have reached the maximum entries I'll just swipe this away and yeah uh, if you want to uh, delete any navigation uh, any um, if you want to delete any uh, sorry uh, any navigation bar button which you have added all you have to do is just swipe it either to the left or to the right that's completely up to you it's as simple as dismissing a notification that's how you can just do away with any navigation bar button which you have added and uh, similarly and uh, they have got uh, uh, got an icon for uh, most of the navigation bar buttons which are uh, visible uh, to you currently and uh, then uh, you can also customize the long press and double tap actions so uh, to customize the uh, long press and the double tap actions all you have to do is uh, you know for customizing the long press action simply long press on this uh, uh, on the navigation bar button you want to customize and then you can select uh, from what you want um, you know and these are the options which we have right and uh, then if you want to customize the double tap action you double tap on it uh, well, sorry uh, you double tap on it and then you can uh, pick any action you want um, and we have got the same set of actions and if you select a custom action uh, you can you know select an application or if you are using tasker then you will uh, be getting that task shortcuts in here as well so <clears throat> you know you can uh, customize anything you can uh, configure the long press actions double tap actions and the single tap actions uh, sorry the single tap actions are already set and uh, you do get uh, uh, the icons uh, for uh, uh, the various navigation bar buttons which you uh, wish to add and if you wish to <clears throat> uh, reorder uh, the navigation bar buttons then all you have to do is just uh, tap on the slider you know and then just drag it and drop it's as simple as that and the changes are really quick they are visible right uh, the moment uh, you make them so um, you know and then if you want to you know the help menu uh, that will state the same that states the same thing and I'll just head back to the reset um, to the default layout so you know a really simple and um, easy to use navigation bar editor button style um, button color you can customize that uh, uh, let's me pick blue and there we go uh, and then you can customize the color mode color I customize all the icons you know so these are the three system icons which we have I'll quickly go ahead and add a navigation bar button um, let's uh, pick the power, power menu and in fact let's add another one as well uh, okay so we go back to button style and now when you see uh, you can customize either all icons or just the system icons or the system and the custom icons or you know you can just uh, disable the coloring for all of them um, uh, well just a moment guys um, I guess the, uh, let's go ahead and add an uh, application icon um custom app um um let's uh, maybe pick um camera okay and now you can see that uh, the uh, button style uh, the color has been uh, applied to the camera as well and if i just apply to the system icons you can see that the camera button is uh, left out of coloring but if you tap on all icons the camera button uh, would be um, shaded blue as well so this is something that you can customize and uh, then the button glow you know this is the button glow which we have uh, the color which you get on uh, tapping the navigation bar uh, on the navigation button so you can tweak that as well and then we have got the dimensions you can tweak the navigation bar height 
uh, and the width and also the uh, height in the landscape menu um menu visibility <clears throat> um how and when do you want the menu buttons to appear <clears throat> you know those three dotted menu buttons always show never show show on request uh, menu location right left or both or both the locations um, and then if you want to uh, show the navigation bar in the bottom uh, when the device is rotated uh, by default the navigation bar is shown um, only when um, uh, only when you know the by default the navigation bar is shown uh, on the right edge of the device when uh, you uh, when you turn it into landscape mode uh, so in case you want to show it uh, at the bottom you can enable this uh, enable that option and uh, then uh, we have got slimmed in so this is one of those features which uh, i really like and uh, you know you can see that uh, so dim the navigation bar buttons after not interacting with the navigation bar buttons for a specified time for and then uh, listen for touches on the entire screen so when i just turn this on you know it will uh, recognize uh, the uh, navigation bar won't be dimmed uh, unless and until i have been uh, touching the screen for that specified time limit and then time out before dimming uh, alpha value to dim the buttons to uh, dim animation you know animate the buttons uh, to dim let's you know you guys can check out that animation as well yeah so i hope that you were able to have a look at that and um, then you can also customize the animation duration in uh, terms of milliseconds and there you can see that the navigation bar buttons are dip are dimming so you know uh, uh, these are the settings these are the kind of settings which i personally love and uh, then uh, enable hardware key buttons um, if you want to do that you can uh, hardware you can configure the illumination timeout um, and then uh, you can configure the normal press long press and the double tap actions and then we have got the same set of actions uh, from uh, what we checked out earlier okay um, so that's all what we have got in here display settings uh, night light is in there uh, sleep timeouts uh, again just like other roms 15 seconds is the minimum limit and 30 minutes is the maximum limit then we do have uh, press the power button twice for launching the camera screen saver uh, font size display size uh, ambient display and then we also have got advanced dose options so dose pulse fade in pulse timeout uh, pulse fade out brightness level double tap to wake on dose notification trigger um, you know so you can customize all those uh, attributes uh, uh, and then we also have a couple of ambient display settings down below uh, so you can trigger uh, you can configure when should ambient display be triggered when you pick up the device do a hand wave or when you pull it out of your pocket um, sound settings um, you can configure all the volume levels increase in ringtone volume vibrate for calls um, and then under other sounds we have got the dial pad tone screen locking sounds charging sounds touch sounds and vibrate on tap okay so great number of features in there uh, then we have got uh, the um, battery settings uh, since this rom is uh, based on usb you can enable the battery saver uh, whenever you want to except uh, when your device is charging and uh, you can also trigger the battery saver automatically at uh, when it uh, when the battery level drops down to 20 percent or you can further tweak that number um yeah and then under users uh, we have got this emergency information section so guys this is something which i mentioned in each and every nougat based rom review that i do uh, please make sure that you fill up this emergency information section uh, this is something which uh, can be accessed on uh, any uh, on any secure lock screen so uh, uh, if uh, if you ever uh, run into any emergency and if uh, someone uh, uh, if someone tries to pick up your phone uh, to uh, let your loved ones know or you know uh, know more about you then uh, they can view this emergency information directly over uh, even on a secure lock screen if you, even if you have a pin or pattern lock uh, this information can be viewed even over that and including your contact contacts which you uh, which you enter in here all of them can be viewed uh, over the secure lock screen so please make sure that you fill this up um and um then we have got uh, the security settings unknown sources is not enabled by default and uh, under the pattern lock uh, we don't have any grid sizes uh, grid size customizations and uh, the settings menu simply states you can uh, enter the lock screen message um, and developer options uh, 
usb debugging is enabled by default and uh, then we've got the wi-fi settings um animation settings and uh, you know you can customize the uh, uh if you want to decrease the D dpi of your device then you can tweak that smallest width attribute uh, then we've got the gpu settings also you can uh, you know uh, if you don't want to tweak the smallest width attribute you can also use that display size option you can customize that slider um very quickly i will just um, you know maybe show that to you guys yeah you know uh, so you can see that uh, as you decrease the size the uh, the screen can accommodate more and more contents and it does get shrunk up you know to a tablet style layout i will switch it back to the default layout um yeah okay uh, so let's go down again and then we have got the gpu settings um and in the end force allow apps on external if you want the installed apps to use your external storage instead of the internal one and uh, then in the end if you want to resize the apps for multi-window mode you can do that as well um and then uh, we have got uh, uh, the calculator uh, this is the snapdragon camera uh, and depending upon your device uh, it's uh, just that the snapdragon based devices have the snapdragon camera mediatek dev based devices may have uh, a completely uh, different camera camera application maybe the stock camera application uh, so it completely depends upon the chipset that your device has and then we have got dev tools um, you know i don't use that uh, much myself developer options you can access that from in there um, so if you just want to run some sort of tests you know test the syncing or do such tests maybe you can um, check this out um then uh, we do get an inbuilt uh, equalizer so, so you can customize the speaker output headphones and the bluetooth headset output uh, um, we also have an inbuilt fm radio application uh, a great inbuilt uh, gallery uh, so you know you can use your uh, uh, sort them by timeline albums or just simply view the videos or if you want to you know uh, maybe edit any uh, particular screenshot then uh, you can also do that um you know we have got this uh the inbuilt uh gallery application it can uh, uh, perform a great level of editing you can apply uh, various filters and you know crop the image uh, original you know ratio uh, uh, straighten the image and you know uh, then rotate it configure those exposure values and then in the end if you want to you know add some uh, location uh, emojis or you know uh, then you can uh, hello from uh, you know you can also I think you could have uh, oh okay and uh, in fact yeah guys uh, uh, when you will be editing this uh, uh, when you will be applying the location editor it does ask for uh, the location permission which i had uh, denied the gallery op app uh, initially so uh, it will automatically access your location and uh, then it will uh, display it in there so you know that's why you are you won't be able to type in anything there it will uh, automatically detect the location and uh, display it in the in uh, you know in what, what you call these as in uh, in the uh, in the location cards which you are adding uh, here on top okay um, and similarly for time uh, you can hello and um, you know you can uh, stop watch you know you can add a lot of options in there uh, weather um, you know cloudy uh, you can uh, so uh, basically there are a lot of options that's all I will say and uh, think maybe and this oh, I think this is uh, this button is for uh, showing you how the original image looks like maybe I'm not too sure about it uh, anyway you know I was just wondering there were a couple of options um, where you could enter the uh, keyboard you know you can use some output maybe ABC you know you can okay so uh, yeah so you can uh, type text as well if you want to um so in all uh, there are a lot of options of uh, editing uh, any image which you have uh, that's all the gallery gallery application has um and the phone application is uh, pretty basic as well uh, 
um, I just want to check whether uh, they have got those, uh, those vibration settings or not. Uh, so you do have those in call vibration settings vibrate on answer call waiting half hang up and every 45 uh, second call recording is present as well and you can uh, customize the audio format um accessibility um you know um so yeah the call vibration settings are present in there and uh, we will quickly take a look at the quick settings panel so these are the quick setting tiles which are enabled by default and uh, these are the ones which you can add on top of them so again as you can see there are not many uh, of them but uh, uh, useful tiles such as caffeine uh, night light uh, those are present and uh, just to conclude the video um just take a quick look at the settings which the launcher has um you know wallpapers uh, the rom does have its own set of wallpapers and we have got a great bunch of them so these are the ones which we have on offer and it's a quite a big collection so you will definitely not be short of uh, wallpapers anytime and um, then you can obviously uh, select your own wallpapers uh, the rom doesn't come with any inbuilt live wallpapers and uh, uh, i just want to give you guys the uh, look of the other option yeah uh, we don't have anything in there when you tap on wallpapers you will get all those uh, extra wallpapers which we have already checked out widgets um clock contacts gallery and then we have got two widgets uh, you know the slim launcher uh, all apps overview mode launcher settings default home screen and uh, or else you can add on the slim actions and these are already the list of actions which we uh, did uh, check out uh, did uh, check out in the navigation bar editor um, settings uh, so the launcher does have its own great bunch of settings home screen you can customize the number of rows and columns that grid size on the home screen uh, then you can customize the number of uh, icons in the app talk uh, so it can be uh, it can accommodate a maximum of five icons uh, you can further customize that size to maybe six uh, the maximum value is seven so you can have seven icons in the app doc uh, and uh, sorry just go back and uh, under the app browser settings you can enable or disable that search bar and gestures this is where we have got uh, uh, most of uh, the customizations swipe up to the left swipe up to the right uh, you know you can uh, swipe on uh, up diagonally uh, in uh, in you know both in the upwards as well as the downwards direction i guess and yeah and then you have got those pinch and spread gestures you know the uh, spread gestures and the pinch gestures what do you want them to be done and the double tap gestures as well so uh, and these are the set of options which we have go to the default screen open the app drawer show previews open launcher settings last app or uh, you can you know select a custom shortcut so from in here you can either launch a task a task or uh, you know maybe um, do some slim actions uh, launch an app um, dial a contact or anything that you want so uh, definitely a feature rich launcher uh, and this is the slim launcher guys uh, they haven't uh, pulled out the launcher from anywhere this is the launcher which the slim rom guys they have made themselves yeah so uh, that's all what we have got in uh, slim rom um, and definitely i will summarize it uh, again by saying that this is one of those highly polished minimalistic roms out there and again as i sh showed you there are all those uh, really very small tweaks out there which will um, end up in uh, delivering a great user experience in the end yeah so that's pretty much it uh, that's what that's all what we have got for you guys in this video so in case you like the video hit that thumbs up button and in case you want to get a notification in every when whenever we upload our future videos through this channel then uh, do subscribe to us as well so thanks for watching guys have a nice day take care and we will catch you guys in the next one stay tuned